Who is this Mickey Truth girl? Who qualifies her to put a work on these people? What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, aka the queen of paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it! Let's talk about it. I guess that's in the algorithm. Jesus. All right. Hold on. Let me pull up. I tell you, I can tell when my name being mentioned because my phone be going on. I don't know why by now these weirdos get in my comments and be acting like, like, for one, I'm going to be clear. Nobody can expose me about nothing. I stand on anything I say. Okay. All the time. It's never been a time that if I said it, I'll say, oh, no, I didn't say it. Okay. So, I don't be knowing what be going on with these weirdos. But it was on my list anyway to bring it up. So, now better than ever, let's bring it up. So, this particular weirdo, okay, said this in my comments. Said that WAC 100, or well, no, WAC already exposed you for a lot of cap content. You was hitting up 1090 for info. Let me make that big, okay? So let me address that because now all of a sudden, um, I guess WAC 100 and 1090 Jake are buddies or whatever. None of my business. I have nothing to do with it. Um, however, um, I do want to just set the record straight. Like I told WAC. It's never been a secret that me and 1090 Jake was cool. Never been a secret. I don't know what is being said on Clubhouse because I don't watch Clubhouse. <laughs> I don't listen to Clubhouse. Nothing. Anytime I even get a hint of what's going on on Clubhouse, it's because people are hitting me up about it. So I'm going to address this. I'm going to address it one time and one time only. Okay. 1090 Jake. I ain't never provided me no info on nothing, okay? He provided me all three Greedo's paperwork. And if you don't know, you can check my page. I never ran all three Greedo's paperwork myself. But he did provide it to me. And it's on a recording on Clubhouse in Rockstar's room where I said 1090 Jake provided me the paperwork. I just didn't run it. Okay, another thing I don't know, again, I don't know. I'm going to have to hit whack up because I want to make sure this is not somebody just spinning it. But I don't know, you know, what info is being alleged that I got. What 1090J did do for Mickey True is her help me tweak the way I request FOIA documents, Okay. He taught me the ins and the outs of the Florida sector, okay? Florida, people, Florida. So, yes, and again, I'm not going to say he was not a great mentor, okay? 1090 J was, okay? He definitely was, okay? He, he was a person I talked to for the first time when I started communicating with celebrities. He gave me, you know how to deal with that side of things. So, again, I'm not going to take nothing away from him. I always show 1090J love and that, at, you know, attribute, okay? Um, exactly. So, I'm not sure, again, you know, a lot of time content that people will be running beyond that, but, I mean, I don't really know, <laughs> you know, what it is. But, yeah, I'm going to say it again. You know, I've always shown 1098 love. Now, at the end of the day, we definitely have disagreed a couple times, for sure. And, hold on. Give me a second. Um, yeah, because I don't know what people be running with. But let me just pull this up real quick. Give me a second. I know I got it on my page, but I'm trying to find it on the jumpers page. Uh, 
right, so this is the 1090 Jake interview on No Jumper. To like, he's he's against snitching. He's clearly involved in exposing people. For the so I'm gonna pause right there. So I'm not not sure the situation with um six nine. That was before I even knew what a clubhouse was. I had nothing to do with that. But this is 1090 Jake's version of the whatever him and Wack had going on. But let me get to the part where he brings me up. The one getting shit, he's not. Shout out to Mickey Truth. She's actually the one that gets his paperwork. He relies on other people in his clubhouse world, right? Yeah. Specifically, okay. and I'm cool with her. You know what I mean? We've gone back and forth about cases. She's actually covered my case. Uh -huh. I told him, nah, Jake ain't a snitch. Uh, why you defending him? You know what I mean? So it's like, it's the personal shit because she also stamped QCP snitched. Right. And that's Wax Man's. Hmm. So shout out to Mickey Truth because she keeps it a hundred. Right. But so all right. So like I said, I went, it's on my page, but it's on no jumper page too. And this was five months ago. This was July 26th. Okay. Um, so I'm just again, I don't I've said the story about me and 1090 J. I don't know where the lines have been crossed, but I've spoke on it on Clubhouse. I have spoke to Wack 100 about it, um, the relationship that me and 1090 Jake had. Um, when he hit me up yesterday and said, so you went behind my back or something, I'm like, ho, oh, I knew 1090 Jake before I even got on Clubhouse. I said, we had the, we had the conversation when I made the song. Remember the so-called diss song that he said I made? We the whole blow up about that, me mentioning 1090 Jake in the song. And like you can still hey go listen to the song on Spotify, Apple Music, and everywhere. I talk about my relationship with everybody throughout my journey. So I'm not sure what they're doing on Clubhouse right now. But um you're on trolls from Clubhouse, y'all can keep that shit on Clubhouse and stay out of my comment section, okay? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I ain't never not said that me and 1090 was cool, okay? And again, like I told Wack, originally the narrative everybody was running with 1090J was over some fake paperwork. I don't get down with fake paperwork. I don't care if <laughs> I don't like you. I'm never going to get down with fake paperwork at all, okay? Now, Fast forward, I to this day do not know why me and 1090 Jake fell out. Okay. So despite what the narrative is, me and 1090 Jake stopped speaking before the paperwork came out about the jail shit. Before his grievances came out, me and 1090 Jake had stopped speaking. Now, it wasn't on my end, I'm gonna be honest. Something about it on his end. It could have been my situation with Wack. I don't know. I can only assume me and 1090 Jake has not spoken before then, okay? So, you know, I'm not sure what the issue is, but I don't want thing about it, okay? If we cool, I'm not going to just not be cool with you because other people got a problem with you. The same way Wack said so much shit and had his people on Clubhouse do the same, and I still ain't never came sideways at him because at the end of the day, I don't have no issue with nobody, okay? You can feel how you want to feel, but yeah, to, to paint a picture like I'm um, like doing some shady shit, nah, and y'all know one thing about it, even when I was on Clubhouse, okay? I'm going to definitely stand on my business for sure. I'm not going to sit here and duck whatever I said, but I have always made clear that me and Tinani was cool. No, it was before that, because that was after the paperwork came out, Lamar. So, like like I said, me and Tinani definitely, and see, in my book, we still straight. I mean, if he ever want to clear the air about really what the issue was, we can, and I said it in the song, Okay. If he don't want to clear the air, then it just won't never be clear. I still, okay, I still won't say no bad shit towards him because, again, he was a good mentor. He, again, came, found me because I did his paperwork. I was a small channel for real back then. He commented. He ain't had no hard feelings towards it. The Rollo situation is when we went Head to head, because me and him was on two opposite sides of the Rollo situation. 
But again, we had already been in tune with each other. That at that point, that's when we got tapped in, tapped in. So again, like I said, okay, a lot of people push the Mickey Truth is the female version of 1090. Half the time, I'm just getting to the point, to be honest, okay, um, that I can stand without somebody mentioning 1090, okay? At one point, it was always Mickey Truth, 1090 Jake. Now, of course, for him, I'm pretty sure he never dealt with somebody saying Mickey Truth, 1090 Jake. But for me, okay, it was always Mickey Truth, 1090 Jake, okay? Make the truth 1090J. I'm just getting out of 1090J chat, okay? Like, to be honest. Now, again, I'm not going to knock him because he showed me love. A lot of y'all have came over here from this interview in particular. When this interview first dropped, okay, a lot of people said, hey, I'm over here because of 1090J, no jumper interview, okay? Again, and, I, and I'm going to say this publicly again because I've said it. <laughs> I've never not said like, I never said I had an issue with 1090J. Now, shout out to 1090J again. He's the reason why my little Tim story broke on no jumper. Okay? I sent it to him. He said, yo, I'm about to hit up Remo and get it on no jumper. And it was on no jumper. That was my very first time having any of my stories hit no jumper. Okay? So, again, I don't have no issue with 1090J. I don't know what his issue is with me. He unfollowed me off of IG. Everybody that watches the followers kept coming over like, oh, what's going on with you in 1090? And I said, hell, I don't know. Go ask him. He unfollowed me. So once it came to my, my desk that he unfollowed me, I unfollowed him back and said, if you ever want to talk, <laughs> hit me up. Like, you got my phone number. Hit me up if you ever want to talk. He has yet to do it. Hey, it's cool. Still ain't no love lost. Now, the only issue, okay, that I had with 1090J was him saying nigga. Okay? At the end of the day. Now, like he said on this, this interview with No Jumper, we have disagreed on cases multiple times. Okay? We have definitely disagreed. Originally with the grievances, I went off of what he said, and I said, oh, yeah, that's, you know, I don't never did prison time. I'm like, okay, cool, yeah. When I finally read it, I'm like, no, 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 You know what I'm saying? And I just said that. But my issue was him saying, nigga, I even hit him up and said, we can talk about it. He chose not to respond. And I made the video about how I felt about him saying nigga. Outside of that, me and 1090 has no issue. So, again, I'm not going to go, okay, against anybody that has shown love to me if you ain't never did nothing to me. And that's just how it goes. When T-Money and Wet 100 fell out, I ain't get in the middle of it. I ain't say shit about T-Money. I ain't say shit about Wet. When Wet and me went through our shit, whatever he said, I ain't said nothing about it. People that hit me up, hey, you know, Wet, Wet, Wet. Nah, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm good. Because, again, my crowd on YouTube is not a heavy clubhouse crowd. It's not. It never was. I don't even, I've never even ran Clubhouse content. One thing about it, and <laughs> I'm going to be real, and I said it before, nobody wanted me to cover Wet 100 content. I tried to drop a Wet 100 video from Clubhouse, and it did nothing. You got other YouTubers that can do it and go up. Nobody, it wasn't my type of content. Nobody wanted me to drop Wet 100 content, unfortunately. Okay? So, at that point, I had to utilize Clubhouse to fit me, do my content on YouTube, and then take it to Clubhouse to get him to react to it, and then it goes on other people's YouTube. So, again, I don't know. I'm going to hit up whack to find out what's going on, but, again, just set the record straight, okay? I ain't never not said me and 1090 was cool. 1090 has never gave me no content besides... 03 Greedos paperwork, which I never even ran, okay? Me and 1090 have definitely chopped it up multiple times discussing different cases, but as far as me running paperwork, I have always went and got my own paperwork, okay? And that's just that. Now, I'm pretty sure if I ever needed it, 
during the time we were speaking, yeah, he probably would give it to me for sure. But he only gave me all three Greedo paperwork because he thought it was a great opportunity since I was on Clubhouse to cover a West Coast case. However, again, if I can't get it, <laughs> I don't run it for content on my page. Okay, that's just how it goes. I wasn't that interested in the Greedo story anyway, so there's that. So let me just set that record straight. That's just that. Whatever we got going on now, which is, again, I haven't spoke the 1090 in months, okay? Whatever's going on now, it still ain't no love loss. Me and 1090 good. It's weird for sure that 1090 and WAC got whatever they got going on. Somebody sent it to me. I'm not sure, but shout out to them. Okay, whatever they got going on. But yeah, I don't I don't like that trying to make it seem like I'm back doing somebody or something. Never that. I stay out of that type of shit. I don't take no parts in it. You know, like I said, ultimately it may come out 10 now and may say that's the reason why he stopped talking to me because of the whole wet thing. I don't know. But again, that was his decision. That's what he wanted to do. Cool. But yeah. That's hold on. Let me check. Well, look, shout out to them. Look, that's one thing about hey, we all know Tenami has said himself he'd have made a million dollars off this shit. Okay, so I mean, shout out to them. If they coming up with something to make them some money, make you some money, but don't put me in that shit. I got nothing to do with it. Okay, everybody is grown and move accordingly. All I'm saying. Nobody can't take away what I do for my content, okay? Because if somebody give me something or let me, I will tell you who it is. I'm never the type to take some shit as my own if it's not my own. So I say it again before I move on. Me and 1090 has always been cool, okay? Like I said, five months ago, back in July, he literally talks about me on no jumper, okay? Um, He has... He followed me up until a couple months ago. I think it had to be around August. If I'm not mistaken, whatever took place <laughs> that 1090 stopped fucking with me was in August. So whatever happened, I don't even know what the fuck it is, but it was in August, okay? Um, and that's that. So, yeah. That, I mean, that's exactly. Like I said, I literally at the beginning of this live said, even with the Chicago content, I am cool with two of the pages that go get work for Chicago. I don't never have to request work from Chicago, let alone I can just go to Reddit, but Rat Rarest and Chirac Humor, not only could I get, guess what? The documents, I can get the videos. If I wanted to. I like I and I would say it. I have used Rat Rarest police report and I said that's where it came from like I don't understand where people getting this like it's not that deep for me not to say it. like again <laughs> everybody can request it if somebody requested the take a phone thing I end up getting it myself but Rat Rares had sent it to me first so I mean like I had already had it I just waited for it to come to me so that when I did make my video I can say it boom they sent it to me directly so I don't know. That shit be weird. But, hey, shout out to the rich niggas, okay? <laughs> That's rich people shit they got going on. I don't know what they overall scheme is or goal they got going on. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But I just want to set the record straight that Mickey Truth ain't had shit to do with no beef between 1090 and Wack. Um, me and 1090 ain't got no beef and me and Wack ain't got no beef, okay? Whatever them two grown men are doing, business wise or whatever is on them not me i ain't including it i saw because now that i'm looking it must be in a whole hoopla on clubhouse because i see the youtuber saying um he fired his paperwork <laughs> oh that is crazy <laughs> well if that's the case i've been fired okay <laughs> If that's the case, miss me, what's it do? If that's the case, I've been fired, okay? I've been on Clubhouse for months, okay? I have not um, pulled any paperwork for WAC in months. I have not done any content for Clubhouse in months. So if that's the case, y'all late. I've been fired, okay? Now, I don't know. Let me take this real quick because that's weird. 
No matter what you go through, do what you got to do and conquer the world.